Aloha friends, welcome to my lanai just outside my studio. I am very, extremely, unbelievably excited to share with you today that I've got an art show coming up. Yeah, okay, that's me and I can't sing, but that was really exciting and so I had to sing it. Um, so, yes, art show, yes, amazing. It's a solo show at this really cool space down in uh, downtown Honolulu, so super duper psyched and I decided that because I have about 10,000 things to do in the next less than two weeks before my show starts I am going to make a series for you all about how you can put on your own art show on a budget because you know that's how I'm doing mine um, so today we are going to make a flyer I made this flyer on a free program which I will share with you and um, I had 300 of them printed up for about 60 bucks which I was like $60, but really about it's about as good as you can do. I did my research. So anyways, I'm going to go through those steps with you today so that you can create your own flyer for your own art show when the time comes. Um, and like I said, this is going to be a series of probably about five videos of all the things that I am doing on a budget to get ready for my own solo art show. I've put on a few art shows before solo as well as with... Um, you know, like group shows and I've done bands and all kinds of crazy stuff. Luckily, I'm not gonna have to do quite as much for this show, but it will still be a lot of good information that I'm sure will be very helpful. So if you do find it helpful, subscribe, please. That helps so much to help me grow my channel. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you end up making a flyer for your own art show, pretty please send it to me. I would absolutely love to see your creations. Mwah! Enjoy, I gotta go. I gotta start making stuff. I, I got like eight days or 10 or something like that. Anyways, all right, enjoy. So for this entire project, I am using Canva, which is an amazingly simple design app that you use on your desktop computer for free. And I have selected the eight and a half by 11 document size. So the easiest way to do a flyer is to choose a panel that is eight and a half by 11, since that is normal printer paper. And I'll show you later, but basically I'm going to make my flyer on a full sheet and then I can shrink it down and it will perfectly fit four flyers on one regular sheet of printer paper, which is going to make my life so much easier when I go to get them printed out later on. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of my own images already uploaded and I chose this image because not only do I love this painting, of course, but this painting really brings you in. I like how she's looking the viewer dead set in the eyes. This to me is a very sort of bold and you know pleasantly confrontational painting if that makes any sense. I highly highly recommend you choose a single painting or piece of artwork that will be sure to catch anyone's eye. Now I went ahead and decided to use my logo in a central location because I think it kind of reinforces the way that she is centered with the halo around her and then I love that it's a triangle point coming down so to me this flyer is really exciting. I love the bold shapes. I think it's going to be really eye catching. So I'm going to center everything around my two main shapes. Now's the place where things are starting to come together. Uh, you wanna start thinking about your fonts. Now obviously my logo is a set font. That's not gonna be changed for this. And I don't really have any other specific fonts like for the Bohemian Goddesses phrase. I don't have a specific font, although I do know what I'm looking for. This is just a place where you're gonna have to just tweak and retweak and go back and forth and see what looks good for you. But above all else, make sure that you have picked things that are very clear and easy to read and that look nice to each other. You don't want anything too garish or glaring. And the more simple sans serif fonts you can use, the better because they just make things a lot less complicated. So 
So after a few final tweaks, now is the time that we head on back to elementary school. Remember when you learned how to write an article and you knew you had to answer all the who, what, where, when, and why questions? Well, that is exactly what you wanna do with your flyer. So obviously on the front I have who, Kaylee Bernard, what, my Bohemian Goddesses, where, is that Ong King, Honolulu? And when, 6 to 8 p.m., first Friday, March 2nd. Everything you need to know, nice, neat, and tidy, right there. Now I have decided to make this a two-sided flyer. That way I can answer all of my important questions on the front, and I will go and actually re-answer all of those questions on the back in a more elaborate manner. This way, at a first glance, you know what's going on, and when somebody wants more information, like, gee, where exactly is this event? Oh, look, flip it over, there's a map on the back. Now, this happens to be a venue that is a little bit kind of tucked behind this area, so I literally took the time to make this little map myself, just so that I could be sure that people would find it. And you would not believe how many people I've already given this flyer to has been like, where is Ong King? And they flip it over and say, oh, I know where that is. So little things like that can make the difference between somebody showing up and not showing up. So, like I said, I wanted to expound on the front information a little bit, so I'm sure it's hard to read this sentence because of this tiny screen, but basically just underneath the address it says, please join us for drinks, light poopoos, and acoustic tunes while experiencing Kaylee Bird's entire Bohemian Goddess oil portrait collection. So there we go, one short, succinct sentence that tells people exactly what they're invited to and exactly what they're going to experience. And then underneath that, I have a special page on my website that I have dedicated specifically for this show. So they can click to that and get all the information they need. So here we are at the actual page on my website. You can see I basically just copy and pasted the flyer and added my little sentence. It does not have to be elaborate, but it is just a landing page for people to go to. Right over here, I've got the date, time, and then of course clicks right to a map so that they will absolutely be able to find it, no problem. And not only did I make a special URL just for this page, but I made it very accessible for the rest of my website. So if you notice, I added this banner to the top, so every single page will have that show up. So here is my home page, for example, and that banner is up there. You can click for details because this is the most important thing I've got going on. I want everyone who visits my website to see it. So one more close-up look. Here is the front of my flyer with all the good information that I need. And then here is the back of my flyer with everything expanded upon. And then I went ahead and combined those two things and made myself a little poster. Now this is gonna be really good for hanging in any, you know, restaurants or stores or whatever that are gonna let me have a little window flyer, which is super crucial for getting people that you don't know to come to your events. You wanna have eye-catching posters to place around town wherever possible. Now as I said at the beginning of the video, I made this flyer on 8.5 by 11 inch formatting. That way all I had to do was simply multiply it times 4 in order to make it fit on a page for printing. Genius, I know. So I am not gonna lie, I am pretty thrilled with how they turned out. Oh yeah, if you're on island, hope you can make it out of the show. Love you guys, see you next time.